सो दैट्स माई फॉर्चूनर टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन वन के डी एफ टी फोर डी एंड टूडे वी आर गोन टू टॉक अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट लाइट अपग्रेड्स टू माई फॉर्चूनर एंड वॉट वी हैव अवर हियर वी गॉट डिफरेंट लाइट्स एंड आई एम गोन टू टॉक अ बिट अबाउट ईच ऑफ दीज लाइट्स ओवर हियर एंड आफ्टर अ वाइल आई एम गेट टू गेट दीज इंस्टॉल्ड इट्स बीन कपल ऑफ इयर्स ऑफ माई वेहीकल एंड दिस इज वन टाइम दैट आई एम डूइंग ऑल दीज अपग्रेड्स ऑल टूगेदर I haven't changed much on the lights yet. Uh the current lights are working fine which I'm going to tell in a moment. Uh so let's get going and explaining about all of these lights. So let me pick it up this uh this one is kind of a Chinese import. Uh I got it from one of the websites and this is an HID bulb kind of a Chinese import stuff. I'm not very sure. I haven't installed. I just got the pack uh, two days back. And uh, in my vehicle, the low, uh, the headlight low beam is a D4S um, uh, kind of a socket. D4S socket with an HID. It's a projector in the low beam in my vehicle. So uh, I'm going to stick with the HID itself. The current HID is over the years. The bulbs have been started. fading off and the the light output has gone down drastically uh and this is the time i think the bulb has uh, done its uh, duty over the years the original hid bulbs uh, from the toyota uh, shop would cost couple of 1000 uh, rupees uh, i think so i saw in one of the websites it's around 12 to 15000 rupees per bulb um and of course you can get some aftermarket uh osram and things like that which are still cheaper 6 to 7000 uh per bulb so a pair would cost 15 16000 something like that i thought of importing these chinese stuff and try my luck at a pretty cheap rate so these are the uh d4s hid or xenon as we call i've got this in 4300 kelvin uh what do you mean by 4300 kelvin is the the warmth of the light Uh, the lower light uh, let's say 3000 and those kind of kelvin outputs would be uh, would be like uh, yellowish and uh, that's pretty good and 4000 to 5000 is pretty a warm color like a daylight color and uh, if you go in the higher kelvin range let's say uh, if you go even higher then what would happen is the light would start getting even bluish tone and i didn't want uh, that uh, bluish tone to happen actually um, it, it's too bright uh, let's say you go to 7000 or 8000 kelvin something like that uh, that would have a very uh, blue tinge to the overall uh, light output and uh, that's not going to really work at least in the rainy season uh, those lights work in a, a black tarmac straight road that works good Uh, but if you are going in a uh, hilly terrain and things like that or in a rainy situation uh, then it's not really good the 7000 8000 kind of kelvin it looks very bright but it's not really helpful uh, that's what i have done my study and that's what i have been using these years so i stick with a 4200 4300 kind of an kelvin is the warmth of the light uh, that's that's about it so i have picked up uh you see this is 4200 or 4300 as they 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 rated it somewhere it would have been yeah this is 4300 kelvin it's a uh, chinese stuff so these are for the d4s low beam uh now these i'm going to put some links across in the description so should not be an issue uh these are the autobahn led bulbs uh this is specifically i have taken for my fog lights my fog lights uh, are not uh, projectors they are normal reflector fog lights so the bulb which goes is 9006 or hb4 uh, that's the bulb which goes over here this i've got it from india itself from the autobahn website i got some discount code as well i'm going to put it across over in the description do check it out uh, this is uh, 9004 hb4 uh for my fog lamps the speciality of this particular uh light is what i what i went through is as you can see over here 
you see the three kind of warmth i was speaking right a moment back uh, too much white normal white and the yellowish so this is uh, a tri color led three colors in one and how it works is uh, when you switch on switch off uh, do the toggle between the lights every time you switch on switch off uh, the light mode would change so it will go from yellowish to uh, warmish to pure white so depending upon the situation i want to use if i i'm in a too much of a rainy or a fog situation i would toggle it on off on off to a yellowish or a normal i would say keep it on the warm part of it which is 4300 3000 and this is i think 6000 the white one is the 6000 so this is the way it's going to work and the ratings are pretty good uh, 40 watt per bulb Uh, which is all all of these bulbs are within the specifications of my OEM i just check the manuals and leds are going to consume anyways a lesser power so these are the two things this is the for the fog lamp this is for the headlight low beam b4s 9006 hb4 and here comes kind of a big baby these are for my headlight high beams now these are pretty cool stuff that's what i have done the research and these are the kind of a really very good stuff osram uh, the brand itself is a pretty strong german brand and these are the new gen ones so you would find on the online many uh, options of the same thing uh, the difference is there is a first gen and this is the second gen stuff this is the 50 watt okay so this goes uh in my headlight high beam and my high beam has an hb3 connection so this supports hb3 slash hb4 with a, some some kind of an o ring that's what has been told to me it's compatible with both with a small attachment o ring and it supports both of these categories i'm going to use the hb3 uh so these are 50 watt each i saw some of the popular websites these those are giving the gen 1 25 watts each however this is the gen 2 stuff 50 watts each uh, so pretty cool stuff for the high beam currently i have high beam again retrofitted hid bulbs few years back uh, the oem original ones are like uh, the normal bulbs the halogen bulbs but many years back i had upgraded to hid i was very happy with them in between they they did give me an issue i just uh, Uh, got it a slightly wire change or something like that and an adapter change and it worked now one of the bulb has conked off or possibly the wiring is conked off something i just want to get rid of the hid stuff from the headlight high beam and put these leds uh, the benefit i would get is uh, instant start the hids do take a slight while i mean one or two seconds to warm, light it up Uh, because the the gas inside has to be charged up uh, and the filament and things like that whereas the leds are instant start so when i want to use the dipper so when i use this uh, dipper uh, just to give a sign to the on oncoming traffic or something the hids uh, would take a slight while to actually do and the second time if you want to do it doesn't really fire well Uh, but in case of leds uh, every time on to dipper uh, instant uh, start would happen and these are going to consume a slightly lesser power so these are the three uh, things what i have got over here if you want i can just open up and just showcase each of these as well so yeah there will be light there will be light a lot of light on my car now a good uh, couple of years i've been using and now it's a good time to uh, upgrade the stuff and get back to normal Uh, these days uh, the lights are not really good and this setup i'm sure is going to be really helpful for me yeah miss to update that even this package for the headlamp uh, headlight let's say the high beam this is also the 4200 kelvin i have not taken any one on the 6000 or something kelvin this is again 4200 kelvin so low beam high beam both are on 42 4300 it's one of the same thing and these are the tricolor ones as i just mentioned uh, it has all the 3000 kelvin 4200 kelvin and the 6000 kelvin uh, so let me open up and show you all of these so the first one is the hid d4s this is uh, the d4s connection over here 
and this is a the outer is a plastic uh, just a cover you can just remove the cover while fitting you can see the inside is the bulb you can see uh, there is this filament and there is this tube which is xenon gas filled so it gets charged and warmed up and due to that uh, the increase of the hotness uh, there is a light output so the, this is the outer just covering as I told you can just unscrew it while actually fitting uh, during the transport the bulb should not break so they for your view what I have done is I have just un, uncapped this particular plastic from here just to give you a view of this whole bulb it's just a plastic cover to protect it during the transport so this is the actual bulb the filament electric and it goes over here back you get the power so don't mix and match any time the connections guys this is a very very high powerful kind of an uh, bulb and it gets an input uh, from a very high voltage source so from here and the charge gets transferred so these are the d4s kind of an uh, led xenon bulbs so i'll just pack it and show you the other ones the next one i'm going to show are these uh, autobahns tricolor leds uh, which are for i've just taken it for my fog lights so these are the led lights i will just show you the overall construction looks pretty good let me zoom in over here and you can see there are two filaments uh, the led uh, let's say the thing which glows up there's a yellowish one and there is a dark yellowish one kind of thing let me again zoom it there is a clearly two different so depending upon uh, which one is getting activated every time you on off the fog lights uh, the filament would keep changing the color would keep changing so it's yellow or warm or if both are coming it's going to be whitish so uh, the third one is both will light up that's what the description says the construction looks pretty decent uh, for the price and uh, there's this driver there's nothing much written out over here there's just some branding uh, possibly they are again Chinese imports and then tested and something like that or at least they are giving some warranty on the D4S there is no warranty just a cheap Chinese import so I'm not even sure so I'm going to show you this construction these would go in my fog lights the tricolor LEDs that's pretty interesting I really uh, looking forward to have a fantastic performance of these fog lights uh, to suit various uh, different conditions so these are the autobahn lights I'm going to again pack it back and for each of these I'm going to put you the links as well from where I bought it and if I got any discounts I did get discount on these autobahns I asked them for a discount code they they were good enough to give me a discount code and as well as this guys from where I bought it uh, they gave me a discount code a little bit of a discount I got I'm going to put all those details in the description let me pack and show you the third one so these are the Osram uh, stuff and uh, comes with a manual uh, packing and it comes with some stickers and it did come with uh, let's say two o-rings I spoke to the uh, seller and he's tell that these o-rings are to convert from HB3 to HB4 and vice versa kind of thing two zip ties over here and one small Allen key is given so let's keep this aside and I'm just going to show you this is the package it comes with a nice uh, let's say protective thermocall over here and uh, so that in, during the transit it doesn't get damaged let me pull it out and there goes the big daddy osram for my high beams you can see the chipset out over here this is again a 4300 kind of kelvin the quality as soon as you pick it up in the hand looks pretty decent quite good quality Osram German stuff imports uh, very this is kind of a latest import I checked the import dates as well so these are 50 watts each the previous generation you would find on a lot of uh, sites as of now I saw on Amazon and things like that those are 25 watts so it would be written on the pack 25 watts so 25 watt each uh, these guys mentioned per uh, per bulb whereas uh, let's say 
these guys are mentioning 80 watts these ones are actually 40 watts each so depends upon company to company how they want to mention e either they mention the total of both bulbs or you mention uh, per bulb wattage depends the quality is awesome the, this was an o-ring which i was talking an extra black o-ring is given and uh, let's see how it goes the fan out over here the construction looks pretty good pretty good and these even have these kind of an uh, markings out over here uh, you can just look at it and let me zoom in you can see the input uh, power in the second column over here 50 what is written 50 you could see so that's the input uh, let's say wattage what we are talking and uh, 50 wattage input and it does have uh, let's say power rating and the P out which is the second last table it's 40 you can clearly see now my camera is functioning well so 50 watts in and out is 40 watts which is pretty decent 40 watts the previous gen is input 25 watts and output would be I guess 20 odd if there is an impedance or resistance or whatever uh, this thing it says HB3 slash HB4 so depending upon the o-ring placement uh, you could swap it between HB3 and HB4 for me it will be HB3 for my high beams the quality looks pretty decent uh, really nice stuff these are a little bit of an expensive out of these my three purchases this is the most expensive one followed by uh, the uh, autobahn one and almost equivalent to the HID stuff HID what happened is uh, I just incurred a little bit more cost so these are the three stuff so I'm going to, to the mechanic to get these fitted and I'm not sure if I'm going to put the entire video of the fittings as well but at least you got an idea of all these lights and the rest of the things would go in the description let me pack it securely and uh, yeah in a moment I'll get back to you to so summarize uh, the three lights all of these lights are on the uh, let's say the this is the HID D4S HID for my projector low beam headlight these are the tri-color LEDs for my fog lamp uh, these are HB4s and these are the Osram new gen 50 watt each for my high beam reflector I have got a reflector the projectors are only in my case the projectors are only the low beam so this goes over there these are the projector ones high beam so these are 40 watts 4200 or 4300 Kelvin 4300 Kelvin and these are tricolor so 3000 uh, the most yellow is one or is a 3000 one the warm one in the center is the 4200 Kelvin and the most whitish which is 6000 Kelvin so every time you switch in switch off it's going to change so that's I'm, I'm looking forward for that pretty interesting stuff every time I switch on switch off the fog lamps uh, I could maybe play around with the throw of the light uh, I'm pretty excited um, hopefully all of these packets should work really fine for me uh, so let there be light let there be light over there and uh, a lot of lights uh, over the time the lights have been dimming up as I told uh, the current HID setup on my low beam the bulbs are like fading off it's hardly like a candlelight there on the road it, it comes up and goes up comes up and goes up and the flickering is happening uh, the typical signs of the bulb aging up is either it could directly conk off or uh, directly just blow off or uh, typically any bulb would start fading off so over a time instantly you wouldn't notice that the light output has gone down but over of time you will feel that yes the light output is going down pretty drastically at one point of time it is hardly it's, it's really working or not it's working or not so that's the time uh, halogens go off Halogens have the uh, smallest lifespan. Uh, then comes the HID. Uh, HID are bright. They consume a slightly more power. Uh, HID lifespan is slightly more, three to four times at least, uh, than the normal halogen ones. And then you got the LEDs. The LEDs have the most longest uh, lifespan in general. Brand to brand, it does differ, but in general, uh, the LED lifespan is pretty long and it's these setups should work for a couple of years depending upon your usage your night uh, night time driving and things like that and you don't keep it on just unnecessarily when you are at a long traffic 
uh, or at a signal traffic signal just don't keep it on and things like that to safeguard your light outputs but yes uh, my current lights this was a high time that i uh, upgrade these setups it's been pretty raining outside in mumbai it's uh, it's uh, the start of the september 2023 as of when i'm talking uh, it's raining pretty outside and i'm not sure if my mechanic is able to it's a small garage i trust them guys so if the guys would be able to do that stuff uh, but it's a weekend for me and this last few days back i got all this stuff and then i'm planning to get these installed uh, I could try to do it myself, but I don't want to put in my hands dirty and I'm uh, already having a couple of tasks in my hand and possibly a little bit of a, uh, let's say, uh, uh, the helping hand from the mechanic and his expertise is going to come into picture for a quick run and get installed quickly. So I hope you got a decent understanding of all these lights. Uh, this is going in my uh, Fortuner. Uh, the similar models of light, you check your uh, owner's manual, the specifications of the bulbs, the the power wattage. I would not recommend going too high on the power wattage beyond the point it is mentioned in your books. There's a small amount of tolerance. You can go slightly lower if you are considering the LEDs. They typically consume a slightly lesser power. Uh, but don't go overboard on the wattage, otherwise you have a risk of uh, burning of your wires and fuses. Uh, so I hope uh, this video is helpful. If you find this video helpful, uh, do hit the like button. If you want to say something, put there in the comment box. Ask me queries. I'll try my best to answer if I know it around. And hit the subscribe button. And you all uh, stay happy. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Take care. So it's pretty much night right now. And... You can see it's just past 12. I'll just come back side of my place. There are no lights working right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show quickly each and every light which I've just upgraded. I'm going to pause over here and then show you each one. So these are the pilot lamps, the small lamps what you have. And these are also LED based. Uh, the smaller ones, original ones are halogen, the small ones, you know the T10 types, uh, these were LED, changed to LED many years back and they have been performing quite well all these years, so some nice quality of the small pilot lamps, just bright enough to just give you a visibility and now I'm going to change it to the headlight, so now I've switched on the headlights now these are the headlights are the projector ones the d4s you can clearly see there is this small difference between the pilot lamp and my headlight the headlight it initially is quite bright uh, but after few seconds like let's say half a minute it just stabilizes uh, sure there is a warmth in it it's not pretty very white you can tell from the difference of that pilot lamp to this these are the new D4S what I have just installed and uh, seems pretty good as of now. There is no warranty guarantee anything of the Chinese import D4S HID bulbs. So now I am going to change it to the fog ones. So I have switched on the fog lights. So the fog lights are currently working. I have switched off the headlight. It is only the pilot lamps which are working on the headlights. And these are the fogs. As I told, the fogs are having three different colors. This is the whiter shade. Now, as soon as I turn uh, turn off and again turn it on, the shade will differ. And the third one, I'm going to show the three stages of these tricolor fog lights LEDs, which are the uh, HB Force 9006. This is the first shade. And I turned off and turned on again the fog lights. These are the 3000 Kelvin completely yellow you can see they are in in reality they look really cool awesome pretty yellow light out over here the camera of my mobile doesn't do any much justice but you see it's quite yellow and now I'm going to do the third mode this is the third mode of the fog light and this is warm so this is around 4200 4300 Kelvin this is the third mode and you can see over here they are pretty much decent 
pretty good uh, throw out over here and now comes the big boy again now i've switched switched off the fogs and these are my low beam projector d4s and the high beam the osram 50 watts leds these are really bright you could see the entire road is bright out over here uh, the high beam is really really powerful and now I'm going to show you the vision from inside the car as well. So currently there are no lights. I'm switching off the pilot. And it doesn't really make much difference when I switch on the pilots. Now switch on the fogs one time you could see. I switch off the fog. Switch on the fog which is the second mode of the fog. This is the yellow. And switched off let this car pass and then I'm going to show you the third mode of the fogs this is the third mode of the fog every time you switch on switch off the fog would keep changing now I'm switching on the headlight these are the headlights are working now I switch off the headlight, switch on the headlight with fog, fog off, fog second mode, fog off, fog third mode, fog off, headlight. See this is the dipper of the high beam. The dipper of the high beam really really bright. Now I am going to let this car pass and I am going to just show the high beam. It's really bright. The high beam is really really bright. The dipper, high beam. Yeah, so it gives you kind of an idea. Thanks.